and welcome to this edition of Bison Talks Impact, coming to you live from the Total Nonstop Impact Network. I am your host, Bison, and I am joined today by the one and only recently signed to a multi-year deal to Impact Wrestling roster, Jay Vidal. Welcome to the show, Jay. Hello, thank you so much for having me. And that's right, recently signed and super excited to be a part of the team. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing really well, man. I'm excited to talk to you, Jay, because uh, ever since you uh, you came on the screens, I've been like, this guy's cool. I really like this guy. But I did want to say, I wanted to congratulate you, obviously, on recently signing your multi year deal with Impact Wrestling. Um, and you already seem to be making a splash, my friend. You already seem making a splash. And with your partner, of course, the quintessential diva, Giselle Shaw. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> What a fantastic! I mean, we could say because it. What we? I'm just trying to remember back how far it was that uh, you sort of kind of made a, a couple of appearances, uh, and then all of a sudden we find out you're signed, uh, which is now only what a couple of months in, I guess, and and you're already making a massive splash. How does that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, honestly, the company that I always felt like would be most beneficial to sign with for me was impact wrestling from the start so to be able to sign with impact and make history and being the first openly gay male wrestler to sign with impact as well as being put side by side which is all shaw like i am beyond grateful for the opportunities i've been given and yeah now it's just taking the ball and and running with it full force and that's uh that's what we're doing just all shaw and i so i i'm super grateful and absolutely beyond ecstatic to be uh signed with impact wrestling now oh that's fantastic now i have to ask also is you know is it a lot of fun working with giselle um have you guys worked together before or was this sort of kind of like an impact idea to pair you guys up it was definitely an impact idea to pair us up but we enjoy working together so much we just are able to bounce off of each other's energies so naturally. And I think that that's not always seen um, in professional wrestling when two people who, you know, now we know each other. Now we, you know, we're super cool and we care for each other. But her and I did not know each other going into this. And now after uh, Impact paired us together and we were just able to, I always say it's like, peanut butter and jelly right the two go so well together that's Giselle Shaw and I like who would have thought that two different flavors would come together and just make a really good taste and sandwich <laughs> <laughs> that's very true a very tasty I have to say uh, I'm a big fan of peanut butter and jelly sandwich so that must be why I'm a big fan of you guys uh, but you know it's 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 been amazing because a couple of years ago here in the UK, uh, Giselle was doing a, a UK tour before she signed with Impact. And I met her at a Wrestle Carnival show. And it's funny to say it, she is one cool girl. She is very, very cool, very fun. Um, and I, I must admit, you know, uh, now meeting you here, I can see how you guys would fit together. Like you say, like peanut butter and jelly. It makes perfect sense to me. Now, is it true, and I, I know I read somewhere, you were trained by one of my all-time favourite wrestlers, of course, the leader of the brood, Gangrel. And I must, I, I really must know what it's like being trained by, you know, a, a fully-fledged vampire. Oh my gosh. Well, first and foremost, yes, I am trained by Gangrel. He is like a father figure to me in wrestling. Uh, we still keep in contact to this day. Like we talk on the phone at least once or twice a month, at least. He's somebody who I could always go to for advice in and out of the ring. Um, getting trained by him, it's exactly what you would think. It's like getting trained by uh, old school uh, wrestling vet vampire. Uh, he gets into vampire mode when you're not doing things right, but he does it out of love. And probably one of the best, ways that somebody put it recently um because i always love to go back to florida for a couple months and you know train with him um i was watching him yell at one of the newer students and uh what after he left you know one of the guys was telling the student hey you know 
he does that out of love. If he didn't care for you, he would not say anything at all. So don't take it personally. And that's, that's who he is, man. He, he does it because he loves professional wrestling and he wants to see this business move forward in the best way. So he's giving whatever knowledge that he has over to us so that we don't have to face those same obstacles that he had to face. I got nothing but high praises for him. Oh, he's, he's, yeah. I mean, uh, he, he always came across, like I said, I've met him a couple of times as well, but he always comes across as being, um, a really, really top fella. Um, he's very passionate. So I can imagine that when you're in a ring, when you're being trained by him, you know, he wants you to basically be the best you can be. And, and I, I can imagine that I, I can see that, uh, definitely a hundred percent. Now you debuted as a pro wrestler in 2016. So you've not really been a pro wrestler for a massive amount of time compared to others what promotion was that and uh who did you come up against do you remember the match yeah so um it was actually against um jimmy janetti uh no relation to marty janetti uh jimmy janetti <laughs> um in coastal championship wrestling which is a promotion out of south florida which is where i started my training at uh where gangrel was a trainer at before he opened gangrel's wrestling asylum um so I actually got my start there and it was at the Opalaka flea market. This disgusting, anybody who's wrestled there will vouch for me when I say this. It is a very disgusting flea market outside in front of maybe 20 people we wrestled in front of. Um, I don't even think that they were wrestling fans because it was just smack dab in the middle of the flea market. It's just people walking by. But to me... <laughs> You know, it might as well have been uh, Bound for Glory because to me, it just it was like I was on top of the world wrestling in front of millions of people. It was amazing. Oh, brilliant. Was it a good match? Did it did it last a long time? It was a it was a five or six minute match. And this is why I think that, you know, professional wrestling and, and the universe in general is so cool. Right. Because my very first match ever the finish to it was me taking a pile driver. My very <laughs> first match at Impact against uh, Eric Young in 2021 was me taking a pile driver. So, from one of the best to give it, to be fair. Yes, yes, a thousand percent, a thousand percent. So, I, it's pretty cool that, you know, my first match ever in professional wrestling and my first match um, with Impact both ended with me taking a pile driver. <laughs> that's an awesome story now since you signed your multi-year deal with impact wrestling um we have yet to see you actually enter the squared circle um since you've signed i mean not, we know that you did a couple of matches prior but since you signed you've yet to enter the square circle do you think we may get to see you in that ring soon and what do you feel about intergender wrestling as it's very clear impact has no problem showcasing its knockouts in the ring with the guys I definitely do think that I will be in that ring soon enough. I got I got a pretty, pretty good hunch. Um, with that being said, I love intergender wrestling. I think we live in a time where it is way more widely accepted that girls could go in there with the guys and deliver these top tier matches as to yeah. where you know maybe back then people didn't think that the women in wrestling could hang now it's a completely different mindset because a lot of the times you watch these knockouts and you know it's no shade or you know anything to downplay the the men in the business but you know sometimes these knockouts are out there stealing the show so yeah why can't they be in there with uh with the guys you know it's pretty cool and yeah, I am all for intergender wrestling. Because I, I, you know, I've, I've often thought to myself, you know, how long is it going to be before we see, you know, Giselle and Jay tag together and, and you know, potentially go for gold as a tag team? I, I can, I can definitely see that happening. Um, I think it would be, I think it would be pretty amazing to see you guys uh, as a tag team. Uh, and and I have to say, I, I'm putting my money on it. I've, I've got a feeling it's going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, but listen, this weekend, we, we we have the No Surrender Impact Plus special. Now, it's in your hometown of Las Vegas, or I say, it's where you reside. I don't know if it's your hometown, because I, I believe you're from Puerto Rico. Is that right? Yeah, so I was actually born in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. 
in um 97 but we uh lived most of my life in sunny south florida so i also claim south florida as my home and i went up over to las vegas in 2019 to yep. further my uh my training uh further over here with uh sin Bodhi, um who's just a tremendous talent he was trained by uh jake the snake robert so he passes down any knowledge that he has from jake the snake which is tremendous um but i've been out here since 2019 and this is where j vidal got started this is where this character was born which is just me turned up to a thousand so yes of course is my second home without a doubt and of course you were you you spent a lot of time with future stars of wrestling is that right yes and you were their champion at one point yeah i uh, i held um their no limits championship which is essentially uh they're, the No Limits Championship is to them what the X Division Championship is to Impact. So Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting because I, that's one of my other questions in a second. But what I was going to say to you was, um, obviously with it being in, let's say, the town that you currently reside in, Las Vegas, is there a possibility we could see yourself and Giselle make an appearance on the special to maybe set up a, a black some Black Widow shenanigans going, you know, going forward into possibly the TV tapings? Because obviously, currently, as far as we know, you're not on the card. But you know, you never know, do you, with these sort of kind of specials? What's going to happen? Do you think we might see you there? Yes, of course. Um, as far as the Black Widow thing goes, I will stand by this when I say this. Okay. Yep. People want to call Giselle the Black Widow for breaking up this teams. However, you can't break up a marriage if the marriage did not have struggles in between, right? Right. If marriage is so strong, it should never be able to be broken up by a home wrecker. So therefore, tag teams should not be able to be broken up by a Black Widow if there wasn't already cracks in the tag team. It was bound to happen. Maybe she just made it happen earlier. Who knows? However, she has you know, taken in that name. If you keep pointing at somebody and saying, you know, you're the bad person, you're the bad person, eventually they're going to take up that suit and be like, if I'm the villain, I'm going to be the best villain ever. And that is what Giselle Shaw is. If she's going to be the villain, then she's going to be the very best villain. So yes, she is a Black Widow, but she's the very best Black Widow I've ever seen. <laughs> fair enough fair enough totally now currently uh as we've just as we've just uh, discussed you are working with giselle um we are very much enjoying your work with her but uh, and but of course you do have a multi-year deal so that does mean that you're going to be around for a while now i wondered if you had aspirations of winning a belt or two for instance now we've already talked about the possibility of tag teams um, but i personally feel you are a great fit for the x division um with your in-ring style um you know you have such a strong character which sometimes lacks with x division stars because they're so good in the ring it's always focused on their in-ring ability but you have a great strong character as well could you see yourself you know in a run as the x division champion jay Vidal, x division champ what do you think a thousand percent so fun fact when i first discovered impact wrestling it was because of the X division. That is what always drew my eye. That is what, what I always aspired to be in because you see those guys and they're guys who are my size. And growing up, you know, watching professional wrestling, now we compare that to, you know, say 10 years back, 10 years back, all these guys were, you know, huge, you know, big dudes, but then you had the X division guys who were smaller guys, but they were stealing the show every time. So to, to basically just put it out there, put it out there in the universe, right? Yes. A thousand percent. I do see myself holding that X division championship one day and, you know, being the first openly gay male wrestler to hold the X division championship. And then going back to my, you know, teenage self um to my own teenage brain to make my teenage self proud i would love to hold the x division championship that is definitely a goal and oh my goodness who is that who's joining who's interfering in our <laughs> my 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 beautiful black cat poppy's decided to join us oh and my uh... this is a welcome this is a welcome <laughs> run-in i am perfectly fine with this she is beautiful she is beautiful 
she can be a little bit a bit a bit scratchy at times but she is a beautiful girl and uh, she decided to myself. Me. <laughs> <laughs> she must have heard she must have heard your wonderful tones jay that's all it was so she come up to say hello yes right, yeah. then. So you're gonna have to get down so we can finish off the so we can finish off the show um now i am so excited to see what is next for you and, and and giselle as well to be fair in the coming weeks and months with what is shaping up to be um a very interesting storyline for the both of you and of course where that's going to go in the future we don't know but at the moment that's where we're heading um unfortunately it's pretty much all we've got time for today um but guys I hope you've enjoyed listening to my very glorious guest today because I certainly have enjoyed talking to him. Uh, Jay, would you like to let the TNI tribe, the Total Nonstop Impact tribe, we call them, um, know where they can keep up to date with everything to do with Jay Vidal? Um, you know, have you got, you know, your social media, your merchandise store? Where can we find out? Where can we support you? Yes, you can support me at the j vidal that's the j-a-i-v-i-d-a-l on instagram on twitter and you could catch us on the zone and see giselle shaw defeat diana perrazzo i i don't think i'm predicting that i think you know i think it's just it's 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 gonna happen you know the sun's gonna come up in the morning you know giselle shaw is gonna beat diana perrazzo and get revenge for diana throwing chili all over us oh disgraced that was a disgrace i can tell you i wasn't impressed with that i wasn't impressed with that at all now guys don't forget to follow me the bison on twitter at lord bison 45 uh make sure to follow the total non-stop impact network at we talk impact uh, which is available on youtube soundcloud itunes spotify basically wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts we are there um especially if it's impact related because that's what we talk about impact wrestling that's it that's what we do uh but guys please make sure that you leave me a thumbs up and if you're new to our content and you like what you're watching then please consider hitting that subscribe button too it's very important but guys take care everybody and until next time this was bison talks impact with my spectacular guest jay vidal Take care, guys.